introducing the most toxic couple this season. Possibly, supposedly, allegedly. I don't know. But, um, yeah, he's come out. He's going to come out. Doug is. And, yeah, with the, whew, the way this guy is dominant, oh, my goodness. Like, she's talking to him on the phone, and he's already complaining about his parole officer because he has, like, kind of a curfew. He has to be home at a certain time. He does that and that. And he has an uncle bracelet so he just can't do what he wants to do and she's like yo talk to the manager okay basically be a karen okay go all out be a karen if you don't want any pro nonsense and i'll call it baloney because she brought basically a baloney to the prison i don't know why he requested this i think this is something that he wanted a big old baloney that's about the size of courtney herself to eat right outside the prison it, it's just right it's the ratchet rule is at an all-time high like it's so ratchet it's so ratchet. And oh yeah, and then they're doing phone stuff while she's driving. Madness, madness, love. Cute intro. It's time for love after luck up, baby. Hi. <sighs> no, it's crazy. It's actually crazy. Here we go. So he was in for four years. And note, he didn't have all these tattoos he got them in prison i still wonder how they do that in prison but yeah he got prison tattoos all up now his leg neck and all over his body but he didn't have that in his mock shot as you can see over here the stipulations of when he needs to be in the house eight to five months to friday so he has to be he can go out eight to five monday to friday and he has to stay at home okay thank so she's calling the pro officer, making sure everything is fine and dandy, and then she has some iced beer and the baloney. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Very nice week. Yes. And then she's calling Doug to tell him about this. Monday to Friday, you have a curfew. You have to be home by 5 in the in the evening, right? Weekends, you can't do jack the least squat. Uh, the we need to get to the house before curfew. And, and he's already talking about breaking the rules. He, he's not even out yet and he's talking about breaking the rules, okay? Ah, hold on a minute now. Technical difficulties. After four on the first day out. Oh my god, man. I'm not sweating for the time I can't get a boner. I'm thinking about switching my parole already. I'm not doing I'm thinking of switching my parole already. I'm not doing that. Good luck with that. Okay. And she goes on to tell him that, you know, actually, you might switch out for somebody who's even worse. So just stick to what you know. You know? I gotta push the limit every single time. Why do they gotta push the limit? Why are you care? This is temporary. Talk to the manager. Do Period. Talk to the manager. I think that Doug can follow the rules in the outside world. He absolutely can. She is convinced that he's gonna come out and he's gonna follow all the rules. He's not gonna waver, he's not gonna do anything crazy. She's got another thing coming. He's not even out yet. And he's like, I'm going to change parole officer. It's like, people, people do this with a lot of things. Okay. I'm going to change my dentist. I'm going to change this. I'm going to change that. You don't know where you might go. might be worse. Unless the thing is really horrible. Unless the service you're getting is really, really horrible. They say the devil you know is better than the devil you don't know. But the fact of the matter with that is people who have very high standards are like, listen, I don't want to deal with the devil at all. So yeah that's where the problem comes in so i don't know i get him i get him i get it but he needs to chill because he's not even been out yet and he can't he cannot expect the privileges of any random regular person in the outside free world you, you can't have that you're gonna have to have an ankle bracelet you're gonna have to adhere to some further rules until you're free free and in the, that period of time you need to behave and adhere to everything that you're saying you don't come out and immediately start causing problems and be like oh i already don't like the first rule that you set for me out in the free world they're gonna say oh you're trouble maybe you should come back how about that <laughs> maybe you're not ready to be out there i don't know but it's never good to have a big mouth it's never good to question what they say it's never good to any back talk no just stay away from that doug will listen to me right she, she even has a mug with his face on it look at that it's not a mug it's one of those thermal things Ooh we wedding last time she dressed up was her wedding now she's gonna dress up again to pick him up 
and the wedding was at the prison. So this is this is how they went. Has requested that I wear a conservative type dress. So he's already controlling. This is what I'm saying. He's so controlling. He's even told her what to wear. This is not like Courtney and Josh, where she just showed up as a deal. He showed up as a deal pickle, and it was no big deal to him. He thought it was all cool. Um, he was kind of wondering why. It was kind of weird, but you know, he didn't say, "I need you to come dressed like this." Like that. That alone. That's where it starts. All this domineering stuff. It has even started before he has even gotten to her. So you can only imagine when he's with her, what's gonna happen. And no panties. And that's ridiculous. I'm finally getting laid. Ugh. Sometimes this woman looks a bit woohoo. Like, honestly, she's she's a bit you, much. you literally do not know any of these camera people and you're you're here talking about all this anyway. I love that. They played a song and it stopped when she held the handle. I just thought that was interesting to leave in. Just just listen to it. They really tailored the music to the clip. Just just watch it. It's kinda cool. As long as we're home by five. What if I find out? I like that. <laughs> I pay attention to things like this. Okay, let's go back a bit. What if I find out you're a secret? What if I find out that you're you are a secret drug addict? What if there's things that I just don't know? What if? What if? What if? But that's what you've chosen. That's literally what you've chosen. You know, it's like guys going to the strip club and going, 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 and then. Eventually, they find somebody there and they're like, mm, I like this baby. Let me marry her. And then now all of a sudden being worried about her BBL and her boobies and everything showing and everything being voluptuous. Okay, but well that's how you met her. And you knew the type of woman you were marrying, right? She's very comfortable in her skin, obviously. Otherwise, she wouldn't be doing the work that she's doing. Although there are other reasons why some people become strippers. But in any case, I'm just saying, I'm just trying to compare in a sense. Um, if you find, wait, what was my point again? Too many thoughts going through my head and i'm tired but um what what was i saying what did she say what if there's things that i just don't know that so what if there's things i just don't know yeah so if you get an inmate you need to know that you're gonna have things that you don't know They're, the whole thing about being an inmate, the reasons why they get into these these situations is they are probably conniving secretive not trustworthy, not truthful, all these things, right? Don't care about the law, this, that, that. So yeah, what if I don't know that he's this? What if I don't know that he's that? That comes with a package. That comes with a package of marrying an inmate. Not somebody you knew before and became an inmate and went to prison. You know, and became, you know, did some stuff and went into prison. No, this is somebody you never knew before. You've been in for four years. You've known him for some years or whatever, or some months or whatever. And then now you decide, hey, I'm gonna marry this guy. So whatever, that, that this is the package. You're never really going to fully know what he's up to. You're never going to fully know if he's telling you the truth. That is something you're going to have to deal with. You're going to have to deal with these insecurities because that's the life you chose. In any case, now they get to meet. And because he's probably also even told her to wear these ridiculously high heels. Oh, she can't even run towards him. So she's just like... Like this. Like, uh, was it? A penguin walking towards him. He's running. Boom. And he's like, lift up your dress. I want to see what's going on underneath there. You know there's cameras everywhere. And there's even a camera underneath her. They're jelly. They are jelly. And he's like, they're jelly. They are jelly. Yeah, those are the prisoners. That's what I was saying with uh, Nicole and Dante. I was like, yo, I think, you know, what he did, if it was not so early in the morning, now that I think about it, it was very early for them to be drinking wine. But yeah, it was not that early in the morning. All the prisoners would have been out there, although their prison was a bit far away, but still they would have been standing there just looking. And they will be jealous or they will cheer you on one of the two. But yeah, it's interesting that they do all these theatrics here and some of these guys, they're either never getting out or they're getting out in so many years and they will be jealous. It's kind of sad because when they're in there, even when they're with their person, they peck on the cheek or whatever, peck on the lips, and then they're like, oh, that's enough. Go back to your whatever, whatever. So, no freedom whatsoever. Right, go back to this hotel room and finish her uh, obligations for my four Bs. I they need to get to the hotel room so that she can finish her obligations for his four Bs. I don't know what the four Bs are. If you know what the four Bs are, please put it down in the comments. But I don't, I really just don't know what he, what he meant by that. Four Bs. Should I look that up? Four Bs after marriage. Oh my goodness, I hope it's not going to be anything weird that I'll end up um, four B's after marriage. Ooh, let me see. What? 
Nah. This thing's literally talking about Cardi B. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. I don't know. If anybody knows, please. I started getting into trouble at 12 years old. My parents didn't have the extra to give. First time so he started getting into trouble. 12 years old. I ended up in prison. I was 17 years old. I was ripping to run in the street. We ended up breaking the house. And we basically cleaned them out while they were asleep. Imagine. These are the terms. This is how you know he's, he, he, was, he was into that lifestyle for real. They went to somebody's house and cleaned them out while they were asleep. That means they just robbed the heck out of them people. But it's an interesting way of putting it. And I think you need to be in that lifestyle to know all these interesting jargon and stuff like that, right? And it's 71 months. I got And the 71 months is about, what was it, like five years, six years? Yeah, it's like six years. That's a long time. That is a long time to be that young and to go in for six years. I was out for approximately 40 days. And he was out for 40 days. And first altercation I get into. So I think he was in for the 40 days and that's when they conceived little Dougie. I, or not they, not these people. It was him and another chick. <laughs> um, wow. Guns get involved. People get another altercation. They were pew pew. In Shot at. Bunch of guys pointing the finger at me. <laughs> so he's trying to say that he was innocent. <laughs> That's how big as you are. We are. He must really like this baloney situation. Then he's got some serviettes at the back of his pocket. Like he came prepared. He's like, I'm about to leave today. Um, this is my last meal here in prison. Okay. This is uh, breakfast. Let me just get two serviettes because I'm about to eat a big ass baloney. And he just put it in the back pocket. And I don't know what his obsession is with the baloney, but it's kind of weird. Kind of weird when some of these people look like they don't want to leave the prison premises. He literally wanted to do this first thing when when he got out. It's kind of weird. Do they starve you before you come out or something? Why is why is everybody drinking, eating on the parking lot of these prison places? Like I don't understand. You're gonna show me how to do a cookout. You're gonna show me how to do a cookout with what with what uh, stove? With what anything? This man is about to eat this thing raw. Oh my god! It's got something like a card. He just sticks it in there. Why would you do all this primitive stuff now that you're out? Like, I just, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Tell her to get the baloney situation. Go home or whatever. I don't even think they're going home. She mentioned something about they've dropped little doggy off at his grandma's place or something. Anyway, he's out the way so that they can do the tan tan tan. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So, like, they're going to go somewhere like a, to a hotel or whatever so they can get busy, okay? So they've just put doggy somewhere and so okay maybe because of that they would not be able to eat the bologna there and then but eventually they'll go back to Rachel's house he's a whole engineer she has a nice a house and he'll be able to eat the bologna like I don't understand why you don't just go to your favorite restaurant at this point in time or just go to the hotel and eat there or whatever and eat real good food there instead of using your 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 prison thoughts um interesting whatever he's doing slicing the thing with not even a knife you didn't even say bring a knife you probably told her do not bring a knife i don't want you to bring a knife i want to be primitive like i was in prison outside of prison don't bring a knife don't bring a plate don't you bring any napkins oh no um let him yeah just bring the baloney as big as you just bring that i sit bring it and I'll, I'll show you something and this is the something he's showing i don't understand what these people are doing let's eat some as if she has never had baloney or whatever i'm calling it baloney whatever you want to call it and she's like oh yeah tasty okay can we get the heck out of here now i mean why are we here what? so now they're driving and he's having chewing gum i wonder if you can have chewing gum in prison actually i can imagine it can cause a lot of destruction but it can also be used to secure things and create your own interesting things that you're not supposed to have in there like so I don't know not not with that alone but it can attach stuff to stuff so i don't think they're allowed to have that in any case he has his chewing gum i can only imagine these prison tattoos what it's like to get them Ugh, I, re I really don't know um because all oh, this was empty when he went into prison and now it's is it even safe is it even sanitary i don't know they're in a the car he's taking selfies and all this is new to him He's saying it's new. He's only been for four years, so I don't know why any of this should be new to him. But okay. I know what a selfie is due to watching television while I was incarcerated. Wait, has he even... Or is this the guy that was in for 11 years? To be honest, I think this is the guy that was in for 11 years. Why does it say four years at the beginning? 
It does, doesn't it? It says four years. I think the four, yeah. The four years must be, yeah, okay. No, eh? Yeah, no. I think this is this, the second time around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now it makes sense. Why didn't they, they should put 11 years there? Because then it make, makes me confused which one of the people is the people who has literally missed a whole decade of technology and everything. He's that guy. So he missed out on that. He did the burglary thing, eh? Burger, burger, I can't even say the word. Cleaning out the house or whatever he said. That got him the 71 months. That was the six years, give or take. And then he was out for 40 days and then he went in for this one. Yes, felon in possession of a firearm. Because he was already a felon, yeah. So in possession of a firearm, yes. And then he got the four years. So yeah, he's the one with the 11 years. Okay, so now it makes sense. Um, he doesn't know anything about technology, like at all. So let's get to them in the car. What? I know what a selfie is due to watching television while I was incarcerated. So she's like, where's this? Where's that? Where's Amazon? Can I do FaceTime? This woman is driving. At least the, the movies that you were watching that taught you how to do a selfie, they should have also taught you that um, drinking and driving is bad. Not watching the road and driving is also very bad. So yeah, he shouldn't be distracting her because that's that's just terrible. I just did not understand how he was in a car and felt safe just constantly distracting her. Where's FaceTime? Where's this? How do I send this? Like he took the selfie and he was like, where do I send? How do I send share? Where's Amazon? Like, can you wait till y'all get to a house to do everything? Eating bologna and, and such bologna. And, um, wow. How about tattoos on Amazon? The whole thing is confusing to me. Like, you see that he's not grown up from his boyish ways. It's like, I want my toy now. I want this now. He wants everything now. He's not thinking, okay, the bologna or whatever, I can get that later. The selfie, you can take it when you're standing still, but you don't just, he's got the cognizant, uh, what do you call it? He's got the cognitive mind. What is it? The emotional intelligence. What is it? What word am I actually been looking for? You can tell I'm tired because I'm rambling. Uh, what word am I looking for? He is, just his mindset is that of whatever body he was way back before he got incarcerated because everything he's doing screams, I don't know what I'm doing and I'm not thinking straight and I, I don't know what makes sense to do in this very moment right here. In any case, I've gone on for long enough. If you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bump stuff as on the subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know anything. Like because you always like this video, hit the notification bell. Watch it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily-ish videos up in here. In the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Let me try it. God bless. Ciao, ciao.